Boom! Welcome to beautiful Juno Beach, Florida. Juno Beach is a small, beautiful seaside community located in South Florida, on the East Coast, in Palm Beach County, and just north of West Palm Beach. About 20 minutes from the Palm Beach International Airport. Let me show you this local jewel and why so many people love to call this area home or their home away from home. Hi, I'm Marco Terminesi, and my passion is sharing the beauty, love, and adventure of the Florida lifestyle with all my clients. And in this video, I want to help you discover Juno Beach. If you're considering a move here, buying a vacation property, investing in sacred real estate, or even just visiting on vacation, here's what you need to know. Juno Beach is one of Palm Beach's most quaint and desirable locations, known for its miles of unspoiled beaches and natural preserves. Not only do you have the bluest waters up and down the coast, but you can surely feel safe in this city as you are protected by a highly ranked 16 member police department, Palm Beach County's elite fire rescue professionals and paramedic services. Juno is located south of the town of Jupiter where I live. As a sister settlement, the development was named at some point in the 19th century after Jupiter's wife, the ancient Roman goddess Juno. Pretty cool, right? Juno Beach is best known for blue waters, surfing, kite surfing, outstanding seaside lunch spots, but most importantly, its own personal Juno Beach Pier. The Juno Beach Pier offers guests nearly 1,000 feet of great saltwater fishing and wonderful opportunities to enjoy the scenic ocean view. The full service pier house features a friendly guest services team, snack bar, gift store, as well as a variety of fishing tackle, including rental poles and bait. By the way, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I've been a top leading realtor here in South Florida for the past 10 years, and I'm also a former professional soccer player. I launch a new video every week, and I hope you're enjoying the content. Here are two neighborhoods that I absolutely love in Juno Beach. Bay Colony is a wonderful condo community located along Ellison Wilson Road and nestled right on the Intracoastal Waterway. This is a fisherman's dream. Enjoy the gorgeous sunset views and the benefits of your own private dock and kayak or surfboard slip. Hop in your boat and enjoy a sunset cruise along the quiet Intracoastal or head to the ocean through the Jupiter Inlet for some of the best fishing in the world, only minutes away. Price ranges can vary from 1.8 million to 3.5 million, but the amenities and location simply cannot be beat. A centralized clubhouse provides an indoor and outdoor entertaining area featuring outdoor grills, fire pits, and on-site fitness facility. It also features tennis courts, pickleball courts, boche, or some people call it bocce, and a large swimming pool with a Whirlpool Spa. Enjoy all this while being just a quick bike ride from the beach. If you are looking for the best of the best in oceanfront living, look no further than the beautiful properties along Ocean Drive, including a deluxe condo community at 570 Ocean Drive. This gated community features only two units per floor with dedicated underground parking and elevators that provide direct access to your unit. Enjoy breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean from these spacious, modern wraparound floor plans. Then head down past the entertainment room and fitness center and outside to your own private air conditioned cabana, with full bathroom might I add, situated around a large infinity swimming pool and whirlpool spa. You're then just a few steps away from your own remote and quiet beachfront access, where you can enjoy the sunrise, the crystal blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean, as well as the peace and quiet as the only sounds you will hear are the waves brushing against the shoreline. Properties here are rare to get, and typically you are looking at home values around three to $5 million. Now let's check out my favorite things to do here in Juneau Beach. As a father of a five-year-old daughter and a seven-year-old son, our favorite stop in Juneau Beach is Loggerhead Marine Center. It's located in Loggerhead Park and is a sea turtle research, rehabilitation, education, and conservation center. The center also manages the Juneau Beach Fishing Pier. This is a nonprofit organization that recently has undergone a multi-million dollar renovation 
and offers a variety of cool features. Their main mission is to help promote the conservation of ocean ecosystems with a special focus on threatened and endangered sea turtles. You really have to see it to believe it, but they help rescue and rehabilitate injured sea turtles and you can even watch them get released back into the ocean when they're fully healed. Another secret thing that my family just loves to do in Juno Beach is a place, a lunch spot called Cafe Soleil. If you're considering just going with your family on the beach, or if you want to take a beautiful walk or a little jog on the beach, when you're all tired and finished, just walk directly off across the street to Cafe Soleil. They have one of the best chicken sandwiches or chicken wraps or even personal little pizzas that you can have. And if you can get lucky like I have a couple times, you'll see many professional athletes in Cafe Soleil. The names of Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, and Ricky Fowler. It's a great spot to check out. Juno Beach has a lot to offer. And if you're thinking of making a move here, these are some things you'll love and a few things that you might not love about this area. What you'll love, access to the best beaches, quiet, relaxed vibe, and family friendly, great eating, close to the airport, very pet friendly, luxury real estate, very nice people, great surfing and fishing, and much, much more. What you might not love, it is very expensive to own real estate here. And since Juno Beach is predominantly residential, it's pretty quiet, especially at night. So not an area known for its nightlife. It's also important to note that there are two bridges, the Donald Ross Bridge and another bridge on PJ Boulevard that take you over the Intracoastal Waterway to Juno Beach. And they come up almost every 30 minutes to let bigger boats cross. Expect these bridges to slow you down at least six to 10 minutes, but over time, like the locals, you learned how to avoid them and time your trips accordingly. I hope this video helped you learn more about the beautiful seaside town of Juno Beach, Florida. If you have any questions or comments about investing in Juno Beach property or moving down here, please call me, text me, email me, FaceTime me, and I'll be happy to help you through the entire process. And if you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time I launch a new video. Make it a great day and I look forward to seeing you down here in Juno Beach soon. Light a tennis court, pickleball court, bocce court. It's called bocce. Everybody says bocce. It's not called bocce. It's an Italian thing. Hey Google, how do you say bocce? Ball. That's pronounced butcher. <laughs> now, let's check out... I hope this video helped you learn more about the beautiful town of Juno Beach, Florida. Let me do that again. I think that was good. Thumbnails. Thumbnails. Butcher courts. <laughs> <laughs>